Thanks for joining us as we introduce how Talon's next-generation software-defined storage solutions help enterprises to solve critical challenges around distributed storage and IT infrastructure. Talon's Fast Enterprise Edition is a software-based solution that rapidly deploys on Windows Server 2012 R2 and versions above. Because of this principle, the software fully integrates into the existing customer Microsoft ecosystem and can seamlessly coexist with other enterprise services and applications. The Talon Fast Fabric interconnects all of your locations from the distributed branch offices to the centralized data center, on-premise or in the cloud. The Fast software at the distributed locations provides seamless access to a virtual file share and high-performance file access via the intelligent file cache, which is unique to each location. Users at any site have immediate access to centralized data sets, which enables real-time global file sharing and collaboration with distributed file locking. One of the key parts of the fast fabric are the distributed locations, field offices, job sites, regional facilities, etc. These distributed locations have their own unique fast edge instance, which connects to the fast fabric in the data center or in the cloud. The Fast Edge transparently extends the central file storage to the distributed locations and the users at those sites. Using the technology of the local Fast Intelligent File Cache and the compression and streaming capabilities, Talon eliminates latency and bandwidth constraints common with distributed enterprises. The Fast Edge instance is a software installation package or virtual appliance running on Windows Server 2012 R2 and above. Once integrated into the fast fabric, the edge creates a virtual file share which transparently presents the centralized storage to the branch. This virtual file share can be accessed by users as a map drive or integrated into a DFS namespace. The way users access and use their data is non-disruptive to their existing workflow and immediately familiar to both users and administrators. To the end users, the solution will look and feel like a traditional file server, but on a global scale. Each Fast Edge instance maintains its own unique intelligent file cache, which means all centralized data is available to you, but only caches what's actively used by users in the branch office. This NTFS volume keeps the active data set close to the users for immediate access to their important files and projects. Because of the integration with the NTFS file system, the cache itself is simple to manage and can quickly be scaled up to meet the needs of a growing distributed office. Let's take a closer look at some of the major principles of the solution, the intelligent file cache, and the idea of cold versus warm data access. As users begin working from their virtual file share, they are accessing the central data set and storing a local copy of the file in the fast intelligent file cache. As users work on their locally cached files, the fast solution updates the cache, compresses and streams only what the user has updated via the fast fabric back to the data center and updates the authoritative copy of the file. As users in distributed locations access data, they are leveraging the fast fabric to cache only their desired unique active data set at their location. Within the intelligent file cache, users will see both the available cold and warm files. Cold files are immediately recognizable and are indicated with a small gray X placed on the file icon. This allows users to understand that the file will be transferred over the wide area network and may take a few seconds or minutes to complete. Once the file has been retrieved, it is automatically stored into the local cache. Every subsequent open by any user in that office will be warm. This means that the Talon Edge instance will check the data center to ensure that the file is the latest and greatest version, take out a central file lock, and fetch any incremental updates to update the cached copy prior to serving the file to the user. Note that IT may pre-populate the cache with active data before accessing it to warm the cache and skip the cold file transfer process. 
When working within the Talon solution, there are some very important do's and don'ts to keep in mind to get the best experience with Talon fast. Some of these practices may seem a bit different from what you are used to doing in a distributed environment, especially where there are slower network connections or high latency. You will want to ensure that you are working directly out of the fast virtual file share. Your IT department will provide you with a drive mapping or DFS namespace to easily access your local virtual file share, which will provide transparent access to the centralized dataset in the data center. You'll want to pay particular attention to files that have a gray X on the file icon, as these are indicators that the file selected is cold or not yet cached. This will provide you an indicator and allow you to understand what type of performance to expect when accessing the dataset. Additionally, it's critical that user applications and workstations be configured according to Talon client application best practices. These settings will ensure that power users with more complex applications will have the best experience when working through Talon fast. When working with Talon fast, it's very important that you understand the fact that you are always working on centralized data which is consistent for the whole organization or your project team. This means users can collaborate. It is crucial to not copy data back and forth from the virtual file share to your local computer or server, or vice versa. Each time you copy data back and forth, the data will be treated as a new file and may impact bandwidth as minimal file differencing will be taking place. This workflow may also lead to data inconsistencies or data loss, as you may accidentally overwrite other users' files. Ultimately, doing so may impact the business and your own productivity, especially in collaborative workflow scenarios. In a nutshell, everyone should work off of the central data environment. For power users, or those who have a particular workflow which requires dumping of files into a file share, Please note that Talon has an advanced feature which may throttle users who write a large number of files sequentially. This is designed to prevent any one user from impacting a Talon edge for other users in the site. You may see a decrease in performance after a set number of sequential file reads or writes. You'll want to ensure that you work with your IT administrators to determine what the best strategy is for seeding data in this type of workflow to the data center as putting it all in the Talon virtual file share may not be the most effective approach. For users who are involved with complex engineering and architecture applications, Talon recommends certain settings and workflow adjustments to Autodesk Revit for both standalone or work sharing datasets. Talon recommends that users always use the global namespace or IT provided drive letter to open Revit projects. Autodesk recommends that projects should always be opened through the File Open menu within the Revit application and not directly through Windows Explorer. Users working in work sharing central models should save more frequently to the local copy and synchronize with central every few hours or so. You'll want to coordinate this process with your BIM manager. Client workstations must have their work sharing update frequency timer set to manual. Users will want to be sure to check for requests for element or work set borrowing regularly in collaborative workflows. For newly created, and especially for very large files, this data may be cold and could take a long time to open locally for the first time. Additionally, do not attempt to copy large files from distant file servers, such as overseas, during working hours. This may impact the network connection and prevent other Revit users from synchronizing the Revit model. Users should designate a local folder on the C drive for their Revit local copies of projects instead of using My Documents. Again, coordinate this with your BIM manager. To adjust the work sharing update frequency timer, open the Revit application and click the Revit logo in the upper left corner. Click Options from the menu and move the slider beneath Work Sharing Update Frequency to the left. This will put the timer to Manual. Click OK to close the window 
and save the change. Here we see that there is a folder on the local workstation's C drive to save Revit local copies. If you have any questions about TalonFast software or how we can help your distributed enterprise, please consult any of the published videos, navigate to our website, or contact us directly at info at Thanks for watching and have a great day.